Hey everyone, Nursky here, gonna be casting this game for you. Got a pretty sweet game out of the NA Stim TV Open that I actually broadcast live with uh, them on the Stim StarCraft channel this past weekend. But, wanted to recast a couple of the games warming up for MLG Orlando, so actually doing live broadcasts of these games while I'm actually recording them at the same time, so hopefully technology works out on my side, because I'm planning on uploading uh, these for all my YouTube viewers as well. But let's get into some introductions here as this game gets underway. First off, spawning as our Red Protoss, we're going to be having Gosu Huangsen over here on the right side of the map. And over here towards the left side of the map in about the 9 o'clock position. Spawning as our Purple Zerg, we're going to be having Hev on Earth. Now both these players are Grandmasters level players on the North American server, so very good players, both these guys. Gonna be playing on Metalopolis here. Now, Huang Sin's the type of guy who I don't want to say is cheesy, but he really likes a lot of timing pushes. Um, he'll do expansions behind a lot of his timing pushes and stuff like that, but he definitely is a more timing push oriented player. Likes to try and get aggressive if he can with his opponent. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing to be doing. I do like to see it when players get pretty aggressive, especially in the early stages of the game. Just because, I mean, especially for Protoss, if you can slow a Zerg player down, that's always to your benefit. So I do like to see when Protoss players are indeed trying to find ways to get a little bit aggressive without actually putting themselves in any kind of a bad situation or anything like that. So pretty normal stuff out of both players so far. We do see that Hev on Earth is going to be taking a gasless expansion here. So looks like he wants to try and get this hatchery down as soon as possible if he can. There indeed goes down the 15 hatchery after that initial 15 pull. So doing a 15 pull in the 15 hatchery. Unlike what a lot of players do, which is they'll squeeze out the extra drone to 16 right away. But instead he's going to actually just jump to 17 afterwards. Going to take his gas just after that. So we do see he has taken his gas. So it's going to be tucking up to Ling Speed and or Lair rather quickly. I'd most likely expect Ling Speed behind this. So I'll have to wait and see how he's going to react to this. Do you see Huangsa in the meantime just getting up his Cybernetics Core now? First Zealot is on the way. Not really a lot of pressure to have on there. going to be able to put on him in these early stages of the game. Do like that he's not trying to go for any kind of a one gate expand, uh, fast expand, or any kind of a uh, forge expand on this map. Just because the natural is so wide open. It's not really one of those plays you can typically get away with too easily. Now, that doesn't mean he can't expand maybe after his Cyber Core or something like that. Some Protoss players will try and do that. But it does make it a little more difficult. You do see he is just kind of swinging around back and forth with this probe here. Trying to get a good look at what Hev on Earth is up to. Obviously, going to want to try and find a way to apply some pressure to Hev on Earth. You see that there is indeed a Sentry on the way. Warp Gate Research on the way as well. That drone being as annoying as possible, going to hang out inside of his base. But now that that sentry's out, he should be able to take that out, and he does indeed take out that sentry. And that is going to be it for the scouting for Heaven Earth. But he did get a lot of good information. Did stop Huangsen from doing anything too early here, but we do see he is starting to move out. So it looks like he is going to do that one gate cyber core and then try and get an expansion down here. So this is definitely what I would call a bit of a greedy play there by Huangsen. So he does definitely have some kind of builder in mind. Don't necessarily dislike this. He knows link speed's going to be delayed. Just now getting started, the metabolic boost is for Hev on Earth. So not going to have link speed for a little while. So that should actually put Huangsen in not too bad of a position to take this fairly fast expand, knowing that his Zerg opponent did take an extremely quick expansion. Do you see Huangsen is mostly just gearing up with economy. If we look at the income tab, we can see right now Hev on Earth has just a slight harvester advantage does obviously have the base advantage as well, but Huangsen should be able to catch that up pretty quickly with an expansion of his own. Do see him drop an extra gateway down here on the low ground that will choke off this area next to his nexus just a little bit more. I do like that choice by Huangsen. Going to get an Overlord over here on the edge of the map, so temporarily will supply block Heaven on Earth. Now we actually see Heaven on Earth going to be throwing down a Roach Warren in his base, so does have roaches on the way. Link speed just about to finish up, so we could see a roach ling timing push here out of Hev on Earth. Now we're gonna have to wait and see. He does have six more drones in production, but this timing about lines up with a three gate expand when a Zerg player would want to maybe do some kind of all in type of shenanigans or something like that. So we're gonna have to wait and see if he is gonna go for that or if he is gonna just try 
and drone up behind this and kind of just take that as his normal expansion. But we do also have Watson over here in his base. He has gotten a Twilight Council down and he is actually trying to hide a Dark Shrine behind this. So going 3 gate expansion into a Twilight Council and a Dark Shrine. Not sure if I'm thrilled to death with this type of a DT play out of Huang Sen. I do believe that Heaven on Earth can be more than prepared for this. We already see Spore Crawlers going down here, so he apparently already thinks something is up. If we do look at the buildings he has seen, he did actually see that Twilight Council going down. So he had a good idea that those DTs could indeed potentially be on the way, so he's going to be more than prepared for this. Now, Huang Sen, it looks like, is going to commit to this. It will give him a form of map control. Could make it much more difficult for the Zerg player to take his third base. But we do see that that layer just now getting started. So, should line up that he's not going to have to delay his third too long. But it is going to force him to delay it at least a little while. He can obviously just try and take the third if he wants to. But going to be extremely hard to hold since those DTs are going to be on the way. And now, first two DTs getting warped in. Also has gotten up a forge behind us. And trying to pick up a probe. It's getting dangerously close to actually getting one of them. But now the finally Sentry will take that out. Also has his plus one on the way here. So might be gearing up for some kind of a gateway unit timing push behind this. Does have blink on the way. Do you see those initial couple of DTs just now finally moving out onto the map? Is going to go to try and deny any third base. Is going to try and poke in the front and see if he can get in. Obviously will not be able to. That DT should go down fairly quickly. But do see over here at the third... Getting dangerously close to actually taking this third out. You might want to cancel that third. Going to be... It uh, does get the cancel off before the DT can actually take that out. Not actually repositioning his DT. I don't really like this move by Huang Sen. I don't want him to really throw this DT away. I think he wants to try and get to the main, but he's not going to be able to do it. Wisely he's going to back up. Now we do see behind us is gearing up with three more gateways now to add on to his gateway total. So now is going to indeed have a six gateway push behind this. That plus one just about to finish up shortly for his ground. It's going to have blink as well. It's going to be having a big gateway blink stalker type oriented push here behind that DT pressure. Now he did cancel that third of Have on Earth. Was not quite prepared for those DTs in time to be able to actually get that third up in a more timely manner. So that could work out to Huang Sen's advantage. Now we do see Have on Earth taking a little bit later third. So we'll get that third down now that he does indeed finally have some detection and some roaches out on the map. But look at the economy though, we can not see right now 56 harvesters, 52 pretty even up as far as that goes. Do you have an extra evolution shape around the way? So it looks like he wants to start really doubling up on those upgrades with these two base. Look, since he is a little bit heavier on gas than he maybe like to be. Would like to definitely see him utilize that infestation pit on the way. Macro hatchery as well. But here comes Huang Sin with a push. We do see it's going to be taking the gold expansion behind this. This is exactly what I was talking about. That plus one now finished. Plus two on the way. Big gateway push getting ready to gear up here by Huang Sin. Does have some DTs in this composition. So it's going to be absolutely essential that Heaven on Earth does have some overseers with this army for detection. And if we're actually looking here... He does have an Overseer somewhere, but I'm not really sure where he has that. has it over here by this third. He's going to need to get it with his army. This Overseer might actually get taken up, but no, it does manage to get away. So he will not. There is a push coming, actually morphing those DTs into an Archon. So this is going to be a Blink Stalker Sentry Archon push with a little bit of support. These are expensive Archons, but Archons are very good against Roaches and Lings. So this is going to actually be very strong. We do see those Pathogen Gland upgrades on the way, but now we do have constant pushing into Heaven on Earth's natural. Really good force fields going down. A lot of these roaches are not actually attacking any of these units. You might want to actually back this whole army up, but a couple of roaches will get trapped. No burrow on these roaches either, so he could be in a lot of trouble as Huang Sin goes to push into his natural here. We do see he is going to try and move forward once again, but he's going to get a large portion of his roaches trapped once again. We do see that those pathogen glands have finished up, could morph in some infestors, but actually not trying to build any infestors right now, just building some more roaches. Do see Huang Sin is pushing in here. I would like to see him go and take that third back out once again, but he might actually be able to just break Hep on Earth at his natural here. Do see more roaches now coming in, a couple of links coming in as well. But we do see Huang Sin and Hep on Earth with a pretty equal supply advantage. Might have to actually pull his drones if he's going to try and hold this push. But it's going to be extremely close, and there's the GG as Heaven on Earth not going to be able to recover. Huang Sin, just too many forces. Heaven on Earth not quite ready for that push. Was gearing up for Infestor Tech, had a lot of minerals and gas saved up for those Infestors. 
just was not able to get them out quite in time for that 6k push by Huang Sen. Very smart timing by him and then immediately taking this gold base behind the push. So a very bold move there by Huang Sen just in case his 6k failed. Wanted to have some really good economy to fall back on and to help support the push. And it was just too much. Blink Stalker is just too good for a pure roach combination with absolutely no burrow no infestation, uh, no infester tech ready yet. Might not have minded him actually grabbing a quick burrow with that lair before actually going to infestors. I think he might have actually spent a little bit too much trying to go for the double upgrades and the infester tech while trying to hold off this kind of an early push. Huang Sin known for his aggressive playstyle, but great game by Huang Sin. Good try, but Heaven Earth, but ends up falling just a little bit short. Then this was it for his tournament, as this was just a best of one at this point in the tournament. But two great players ended up battling head to head. Huang Sen ends up coming out on top. For now, guys, this is going to be it. This is going to be Nursky saying peace easy, guys. And I'm going to see a lot of you guys at Orlando.